Hey students, welcome to the video. So today we have come up with the solution of the question that we shared with you. So if a is equal to 7 plus 4 root 3, find the value of root a minus 1 by root a. So one way the students approach this question is they think that let's first find out root a. So that's going to be square root of 7 plus 4 root 3. This is complicated, right? We don't have to do this here. The best way to approach this question is let's start from here. This is root a minus 1 by root a, right? Let's try removing these square roots from here. So square roots could be removed in only one case if I take the square of it, right? And I know that a minus b whole square is what? a minus b whole square, it's nothing, but that's a square plus b square minus 2ab. Instead of a and b, we have got root a and 1 by root a. So this is simply going to be root a square plus 1 by root a square minus 2 times root a times 1 by root a. This will get cancelled out. What am I left with? Root a minus 1 by root a whole square. That's equals to root a. I mean, square root and square will get cancelled out. We will have a over here. Here as well, this will get cancelled out. I'll have only 1 by a minus 2. Now, if I have the value of a, which is anyways there in the question, if I have the value of 1 by a, I can simplify this very easily, right? So, we already have the value of a. Let's find out 1 by a. So what 1 by a is going to be, so 1 by a would simply be 1 upon 7 plus 4 root 3. Now we already know that whenever there is a square root, something uh, has a square root in the denominator, we have to rationalize this, right? For rationalizing, we simply change the sign. There is a positive sign in the denominator. I'll simply use a negative sign. I'll write 7 minus 4 root 3 and 7 minus 4 root 3. That's going to be what? That's going to be 7 minus 4 root 3 in the denominator as it is. Uh, in the numerator as it is, if you see the denominator, you can see that it is 7 plus 4 root 3, 7 minus 4 root 3. Basically, both of them have 7 and 4 root 3, only signs are different. So this is nothing but that's a plus b and a minus b, which is what? a plus b and a minus b is a square minus b square. That's going to be 7 square minus 4 root 3 square which is going to be 7 minus 4 root 3 upon 49 minus 4 root 3 square. First of all, let's do 4 square. 4 square is 16. Root 3 square will give you 3. So 16 times 3, that's 48. Let's, fight, let's write 48 here. That's going to be 7 minus 4 root 3 upon 1, right? So we have 1 by a, we have a as well. Now, all we have to do is, I'll simplify this. Like I said, root a minus 1 by root a whole square is equals to, what did we get? We get a plus 1 by a is equals to uh, a plus 1 by a minus 2. Let's put everything here. So this is root a minus 1 by root a whole square. a is 7 plus 4 root 3. 1 by a is 7 minus 4 root 3 minus 2. So what do we see here is that, that this can get cancelled out. I'm sorry, this is minus 2. This remains as it is. Plus 4 root 3 minus 4 root 3 get cancelled out. I have 7 plus 7 minus 2. That's going to be root a minus 1 by root a whole square. 7 plus 7 is 14. 14 minus 2 is basically 12. But I need the value of root a minus 1 by root a. Let's take the square to the other side. That's going to be root a minus 1 by root a is equals to square root of 12. Right? That's going to be equals to what? That would be equals to square. Can be split up as 2 times 2 times 3? So here, this will form a pair. So I'll, ha I'll have 2 root 3. That would be the final result. So you see, this kind of questions you come across in your papers as well. Especially ninth graders, they would see these kind of questions. Not in the NCRT, I would say. But yes, in the reference books, if you are solving in NCRT exemplars also. And these questions are very good from exam point of view as well. So do practice them, such kind of questions. And if you have any doubts, you can always leave your doubts in the comment section. And do leave a comment for me how you like this video.